Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to go over how to draw an Among Us uh, crewmate with a towel wizard hat. It's going to be super easy, simple, and for beginners. This is a Crayola brand uh, marker. I'm going to be using this, and this is going to be regular computer paper. Uh, you can use anything you want. Uh, these are just tools that I recommend. I especially recommend a marker because I think markers just come out looking better, in my opinion. But totally up to you. You can do whatever you want. Um, you can use a pencil. You can use a pencil, then trace it with a marker. Um, I, I like that idea as well, you know, like after the video. Okay, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a kind of curved upper line right here for the bottom of that towel. It's going to curve over, essentially kind of go into the front of the forehead of the crewmate. Among Us is one of those like addictive games um, kind of thing. I'm sure you, you play, I played on the phone. Um, okay, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to curve the top right here. And that's going to be what that is, is, the top of the visor, that window that, that the crewmate looks through. I'm going to connect the forehead down to make that look better. <sighs> I'm going to go over here to the front, curve to the front. Same thing, curve in the back here. And then I could curve in here. Alrighty, so that shape right here to me looks like a regular pillow. That looks like a pillow shape. It's like a bloated rectangle. I always say stuff like that because um, I like comparing it to stuff that um, that I that's like normal. You know, like it's it's when I when somebody tells me draw like a visor window, um, that sounds hard to me ish. But then if someone says draw a pillow, okay, boom, it's easy. Like it's just easier for you. You know. Uh, I'm gonna like look at this line how it's coming down here, and I'm gonna imagine it going through. I'm going to pull downward. All the way basically from the stomach and then down kind of into the foot area. And I'm going to curve in here for so you got that front foot. Pulling up. Pulling a line right here for the lower body. Line down here for the hind foot or the back foot. And then I'm gonna pull the lower portion where he's standing on that foot. And now from the back of the head over here all the way down to the base, and that's gonna be the longest stroke in that whole drawing, okay? Um, already. From here to here, I'm thinking halfway in my mind's eye, pulling back right here, and I'm gonna mark right there the top of that backpack. Don't forget I have an Etsy now. Um, go check that out. I just made that. Um, I'm gonna update it a lot. I literally only have one thing on there right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like previous uh, kind of originals, you know, some of the drawings I draw on the channel if anybody wants those. Um, and they're gonna be on there for about a month and I'm just gonna take them off. Um, and then, uh, you know, if nobody buys them, I'll just take them off. And I'm gonna put paintings, my own personal work on there. Uh, it's kind of an experiment. It's just kind of like, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, um, I just find a lot of people will ask me that stuff through the email. So I said, hey, I'll just set up a store. If anybody uh, wants any of that stuff, uh, you know, like my personal work, check that out. Uh, that is, you know, I'll put the link in the description so you can go take a look at it. Um, it's going to change constantly, by the way. I'm going to throw a line over here in the bottom part of the body. This will be the bottom of the backpack. I call myself Dino Painter on there. So, um, yeah, I just thought it was a cute name. But I'll probably change that around. It's going to be an evolving thing. Also, I'm gonna curve over here. Uh, so we're gonna do the hat, I'm gonna curve. It's basically like a towel wrapped around his head. They call it towel wizard. I don't know why they called it that. A whole line right here. Curved line up, around so. Up over here, in. Up here. Top of that towel, that pyramid towel. Base of the top here. Pull down, curve the front, pull in here. Also, if you like learning a little bit about drawing every single day, hit that subscribe button right now. Uh, I am really grateful and, and, and pleased that I passed 100,000 followers um, a few days ago. I'm very, very happy. I'm excited. Um, and for me, I feel like it's just the beginning. Like I'm very, very committed to the channel. It's my life now. Um, if what I do here, like this drawing lessons, they're all for beginners. If 
that stuff is worth your time, please consider subscribing. I believe when I look at the analytics, it's like 89% of people are not subscribed that look at the channel. Um, but when you subscribe, I'm gonna be putting up videos every single uh, weekday. That's gonna be Monday through Friday. And each one of those days, I'm gonna put up three simple drawings. Um, don't worry about it. It's not gonna overwhelm your feed. It's probably gonna let you know about every third video or something like that. Um, and you can decide whether you're in the mood that day to draw or not, but they're all gonna be beginners. They're all gonna be accessible, meaning you can just see, you know, they're gonna be at any level, you'll be able to draw um, those lessons. Um, but yeah, that is all. As far as for me, it helps the algorithm, it helps the growth of the channel, and it just kind of helps my mood. <laughs> I just kind of like doing it uh, like this. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pull a curved line upward here, that fold of that towel there, and I'm gonna throw a line across here. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually draw a thick line everywhere. Uh, the reason I wanna do that, I, was, I want the animation here. I'm gonna thicken the line everywhere, just a bit. I wanna have the animation match the animation from um, the actual um, game, right? And they use really thick lines, I noticed. So I'm just gonna thicken the line everywhere. Um, if you wanna affect the channel positively, there's one thing you can do, that is sharing a video. Whenever you share a video, it brings this huge boost of positivity to the channel. Um, I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. Um, uh, I guess anybody who clicks a link from like Facebook or Reddit or YouTube, uh, YouTube or um, you know, Tumblr or anything like that. People that click those links, I guess, um, a lot of them will like it, I, I guess. You know, like they, they'll click on it because they want to come here, I guess. Um, because I'll just usually get like a boost of new people saying nice things or just um, just, soup, just some of the greatest things ever um, when people share the video. And it's very, very noticeable. And it's something that people, I guess, don't really notice if you're not um, on the analytics of the channel, but it does help out incredibly. And it just kind of helps out my mood because I tend to do a lot of editing and a lot of um, writing of the description, and that stuff takes time because I do three videos a day, right? That's kind of a lot. But it just kind of makes my day when um, people are just saying nice things, you know? Anyways, that is the end of the lesson. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate you being here. If you made it this far, you made it to the very, very end of the lesson. I'm gonna try to fix the lines a little bit here. Uh, this marker is kind of dying. Um, if you made it to this point, say hi to me in the comments and I will know that you made it to this very point. That means you made it to the whole thing. Um, I will talk to you next time. This is Easy Pictures to Draw and I'll talk to you soon.